Hello, this is Steph. How to say that, how to say that, how to say that. Okay, fine. We did the compilation wrong in the Windows video. Why? There's a, a thing about uh, the debugging that uh, um, is wrong. Um, so the flags uh, are not uh, the ones that we would want. And um, we got to do, we got to start over. We'll see the differences, we'll see the, um, the similarities, and then we're going to compile FMPEG together again. And then we're going to see the uh, results. So, uh, Windows ready, this time Windows, and uh, we're going to correct so we can get started. We can get started. Okay, we start with uh, the Windows terminal, and uh, now, as we did the other time, I have um, an x64 native tools common prompt uh, tab here ready to be executed and uh, now we are going directly into let me make this uh, a bit bigger okay um, we're going directly into the msys system so we're going to compile uh, again using um, msys so we are going into c C M sys M sys shell. So this is uh, the command that we need to, to open, and we have a new window open. In this case, we can close this, and uh, okay. I'm going to increase uh, the font, and here we got to go in the folder where uh, we compiled FMPEG the other time. In my case. Uh, it is on the C users, the current user, and uh, oh, sorry, TMP. So in this case, we have a build installed and sources, and uh, then we uh, are going to build, and then. Uh, in this case, we have both uh, X264 and FMPEG. I have right here the script we used the other time to compile FMPEG. And uh, here we have in particular the phase of installation, of, uh, of a compilation, sorry, uh, compiling of FMPEG uh, that is uh, without uh, the optimization. So here, if you have disable optimizations, uh, we thought that it made uh, the thing that we said the other time, so the correspondence one-to-one -one with the lines of code uh, and uh, um, thing, but it is a partial one, it is not done completely. So sometimes uh, you might have the symbols that uh, are not uh, resolved completely, so there is a, a cleaning of the code uh, of unreachable sequences. There is also uh, something that is done uh, uh, internally so you don't see the moment for example the code is identified so this thing um, uh, is not uh, done here uh, what we have to do is a series of flags that have to be uh, added not to um, CLCC but uh, uh, yes so as uh, flags uh, that are typical for MSVC so uh, here we got to put something else that are optimization flags and extra uh, flags. What uh, what are these flags? So we take also the guide that is uh, about uh, MSVC. So what are these uh, flags? Um, the flags are available here. So the uh, script is almost identical. The only thing that uh, are changing are the addition of these uh, flags. In this case, uh, we have MTD, ZI, and OD. Um, so the most important is, uh, without any doubt, OD. Let's see what OD uh, does. Here. 
here. So OD, OD takes uh, the um, optimization and turns off all the types of optimizations that are present in the program and uh, the speed compilation. So you have uh, the O options. These are the ones available. I think that by default, if you disable the optimizations, it makes uh, uh, the O1 or O2. So sometimes uh, I compile the code uh, so many times to see um, the, um, so the the results. Uh, and uh, these are the flags that I found out to have a static working, a static compilation. Uh, so the libraries that are included in the um, executable, not something separate. If you want something separate, I uh, probably will make another video, otherwise it will be too long. Um, here in the, um, the by default, the optimization, I can remember, I think it was uh, 01. So it take, takes uh, the optimization for the minimum uh, size code. And in this case, some symbols uh, were removed. So. Here we put uh, uh, this, that is uh, the disable optimization, both here as uh, extra extra flags, uh, extra C flags, but also these other two. So let's have a look at uh, what these uh, are doing. So MSVC MTD. And MTD enables uh, the fact that uh, it's going to take uh, the debug option, sorry, no, this is not this, this is this, and um, the debug option, and also MT. So it uh, places uh, um, all the necessary libraries for external uh, symbols uh, um, to resolve uh, um, internal, uh, internal things that it does uh, by putting the MTD, so in this case, uh, um, this would be uh, useful for us. Then the other is uh, ZI. What does uh, ZI do? So ZI, by default, uh, I think it's, it is a uh, Z7. So I remember all the thing for the compilation. Uh, it, it wanted to override uh, this uh, Z7. And uh, this is a... Uh, um, what it does. Um, ZI implies a, a debug, and that's what we are doing. And uh, so it produces uh, a separate file with all the debugging information aside. So um, all these things, uh, I decided to put these to have the maximum uh, amount of information as soon as we are debugging. Otherwise, uh, we have uh, errors, uh, not errors, um, missing information as soon as we are getting out the information out of a file. And uh, got to be careful about uh, putting these extra C flags uh, uh, after the compilation of X264. Then everything goes fine. Remember to make, uh, in this case, uh, uh, it's better not to put uh, the make uh, uh, with the J4 and also after. This will lead to a longer compilation, but I saw that uh, it makes uh, problems, um, so uh, concurrency problems. That's the one that we're telling in the previous videos. Um, so it will be longer, but uh, uh, at least we can do what uh, we want to do. Then, FMPEG phase. Um, we have everything like the other time. So remember, before uh, invoking the configure, we have uh, the lib pkg config to tell where the libraries are installed. In this case, the libx264. In the future, we're going to put something else. So uh, stay tuned for other things. Then, uh, okay, the prefix, if you want to make a make install, so it will transfer the files in those folders um, to chain. MSVC, this is what well, you want to compile with the Microsoft compiler, not uh, C, um, not Ming GW or something else. Then the architecture is this. The OS is Windows 64 bits. This is uh, not necessary as unless you put the architecture, it's fine. So it should uh, um, this thing. Another important thing, 
this is the disabling of all the assembly um, directories. So uh, directives. Sorry. So the disable x86 ASAM and disable ASAM. Uh, ASM. This will uh, disable all the um, assembly things that uh, made the code a bit uh, faster and more efficient. But in this case, we want the whole code to be done. And these two, you can put uh, one or the other. Uh, usually, uh, so I want to be uh, make sure that uh, we want a static compilation. So we disable the shared uh, version and we enable the static. We enable libx264. We, um, we're going to get back later to these uh, uh, thing disable protocols. Um, we're going to disable the documentation, so we only leads to an error because we don't have a, a LaTeX and all the things to compile also the documents. So in this case, uh, we don't have it. The difference is that the other time we made uh, as license a non-free license. In this case, we put version 3, but for us, since we want to keep it to ourselves, we're going to explain later what's this thing about the... the um, uh, the licensing. We, want, we we have a GPL version three, so the most modern, the most restrictive, uh, um, the rightly restrict, uh, restrictive uh, from uh, um, uh, a FSF, uh, Free Software Foundation. We enable the debug flags, but this will be done also inside uh, the um, uh, MSPC. We disable the optimization, so both. Uh, um, the FMPEG flags and uh, the MSVC flags are put. And uh, be careful to split the three options in this way. So we have uh, the minus OD here and a minus ZI. So the ones that disables all the optimizations and uh, puts uh, all the external resources in this uh, PDB that is separate. Um, and then later, in the uh, extra C flags, we're going to include uh, these uh, minus MTD. So, but no worries. I also put uh, the CXX flags. Um, it is not necessary, but uh, um, I put it just in case uh, we want to do something later. Um, extra LD flags is identical as the one. We didn't change it uh, from the last time. And uh, um, we got come back to here we disable all the protocols uh, related to RTMP and uh, variants because uh, I saw that during the compilation there is an error. So as soon as uh, you run this uh, configure and then you make the make, uh, at the end of the make, uh, there are some problems uh, while uh, linking. So after you spent half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour uh, before uh, compiling, you have uh, this problem and uh, it's quite annoying. Uh, it took uh, quite some time to understand which were the right flags, but at the moment uh, we make it. So we have uh, everything ready. We have uh, um, FMPEG ready to be compiled. Good. Okay, and uh, this is a uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, the launch is the same as a. Uh, um so as a usual one, we're going to see later what we're going to do with it. And uh, then we are trying. So Windows, Windows launch. Uh, I'm inserting it into the terminal. We're going to see um, how later. And here we have uh, all the directives. Uh, you see that uh, as soon as we are going here, if you compiled with the way we compiled the other time, you will have uh, some of uh, the local variables that uh, are going to say um, this variable is optimized away, we cannot see the value, and you see everything when uh, everything is done. So maybe it's too late, uh, we want to understand how the codec is uh, um, retrieved. This is a thing that you cannot do with the previous options. In this case, uh, you can. So. Um, you can go in, and uh, after that, we're going to see all the things. Cool. And in the end, uh, we have a file ready. So we have also some breakpoints. We're going to see later why we have them. But uh, um, that's right. Cool. 
Okay, guys, here we go. And uh, uh, sorry for this inconvenience. This is something that uh, um, so I'm usually used to compile in uh, Linux systems. On Windows, this is quite rare, usually for production or compile the executable to run in a second moment. Usually the debugging and understanding how FPEG works is usually done on uh, um, Linux, but uh, for the Windows guys, uh, this can be a good opportunity. It was uh, an opportunity also for me to learn something. Uh, finally, I know something more about uh, both the compiler and uh, some other options that might be uh, added. So for the moment, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you didn't do it, please like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell um, just in case uh, you didn't do it. So to be notified about uh, the latest videos I'll be releasing. For the moment, uh, thank you very much again for watching and see you next time for content regarding multimedia, but also much, much, much more. Ciao. Ciao.